With the heat so intense, buildings appear like they're melting. Scorched earth, dark skies and acrid smoke filling the air. This is what the firefighters of Vanava are up against and the people living there too. The village was surrounded in no time. There's no logic to that. It was really windy. It was like there were many fire fronts. It started from one point and suddenly the whole village was surrounded. The fire here has been raging for nearly 48 hours. They were the first to be told to leave. But many other areas have had to follow suit. The ferocity of the flames too much for what used to be a bike, what used to be a tree, and what used to be someone's property. The wind would go in one direction and then in the other. The smoke was suffocating. You couldn't see. Your eyes teared up. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see the house. This is the estimated spread of the fire, which is growing fast. The initial outbreak started in the small town of Varnava yesterday afternoon. Intense blazes that are making it difficult for firefighting teams are around Marathon. These places are roughly less than an hour away from Athens, where people in the capital are on high alert. This is the deepest wildfires have gone into Athens for two decades. These areas aren't used to evacuation orders here. The fire has travelled 20 kilometres in just 24 hours, leaving local experts astounded. It's beyond what I could, uh, could, could imagine. I mean, currently we have active fire fronts uh, at uh, the northern, the northernmost boundaries of uh, the main urban area of Athens. Yeah, it's, it's beyond any imagination. The situation is really, really bad right now. Is this being exacerbated by climate change? It is exacerbated by climate change. I mean, large wildfires and catastrophic wildfires have, all, have always happened across uh, the Mediterranean and in other parts of the world. However, what we are seeing in the past uh, decade, I would say, is an increase in the frequency and extent and intensity of this uh, very large uh, wildfires. As the billowing smoke encompasses the iconic Acropolis in the distance, the scale of what firefighters face seems daunting. There were close to 700 of them battening the blaze, along with 80 members of the armed forces, and the EU are expected to send in help. Athens is on high alert until Thursday, with temperatures expected to reach near 40 degrees Celsius for the next few days. Any respite for those trying to contain the fire won't come as soon as they would like.